If you are working with multiple Excel files that are very similar to each other, you may consider merging them into a single file to manage them easily. This will help you to further process them in a convenient way. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel Demi, your day-to-day -day Excel and VBA tutorial helpline. This is Hadiul Bashar and today I will demonstrate how to merge multiple Excel files into one sheet. For this video, I will use Microsoft Excel 365. Let's get introduced to our dataset. I have the sales information from January to June and the sales informations are divided into two workbooks. The name of the first workbook is January to March sales data and this workbook contains the sales information from January to March. In the January, February and March worksheets, you will find the corresponding sales information. Now, let me show you the second workbook. This is a second workbook and the name of the workbook is April to June sales data. Here you will find the sales information of April, May and June. In this tutorial, I will show you how to merge these two workbooks into a single worksheet. Note that the structure of all the worksheets are same. I have the product ID, the product and the unit sold amount. So it will be convenient to manage all the informations if we can merge them in a single worksheet. In the first example, I'll merge the data of the two workbooks into a single workbook by copying the sheets of the second workbook that is the April to June sales data workbook and will paste the values in the first workbook. To do so, select all the worksheets by pressing shift and clicking on the last worksheet. Now right click on the worksheet. This opens different options. Go to move or copy. As a result, the move or copy window is open. Here you will find different options to move or copy. As we will copy the information to the first workbook, so in the field to book, click on this drop down icon and select January to March sales data. Choose the option move to end so that the new worksheets will be copied at the end of the March worksheet. Now check the option to create a copy and finally click on OK. And you can see that all the worksheets are copied here in the January to March sales data workbook. In this way, you can merge two Excel files. Now that we have gathered all the data in a single workbook, we can now merge them in a single worksheet. First of all, I have saved this workbook with all the data as January to June sales data workbook. Now I'll use the Power Query feature of Excel to combine all the worksheets in a single worksheet. To do so, move to the Data tab. From the Get and Transform Data section, click on Get Data. This opens different options to get the data from the file option as I will load the data from the Excel file. So select the option from Excel workbook. This will open the import data window. Here I will choose the Excel file named January to June sales data. Next click on import to import the data. This opens the navigator window. Click on select multiple items and from the Excel file choose all the worksheets. Finally click on load to load the data. As a result, the data is loaded. You will find the details in the Queries and Connections window. Now to combine all the data, move to the Data tab again. From Get and Transform Data section, click on Get Data, move to Combine Queries and choose Append. This opens the Append window. Here you can merge rows from multiple tables. As there are six set of data, so I am choosing three or more tables. And you can see the available tables here. Choose all the tables, press and hold the Shift key and click on the last table. You can see that all the tables are selected. Now click on add. As a result, the tables are added to the tables to append section. You can set the serial by clicking on these arrow icons. Let me quickly set the serial. The serial is perfect now. Now click on OK to append the table. This opens the append one power query editor. Here you will find all the data. If you look closely, there is a blank row. So from the Home tab, in the Reduce Row section, click on Remove Rows and select Remove Blank Rows. As a result, the blank rows are removed. From the Query Settings window, in the Applied Steps section, you will find the log of the applied step. You can load the data to the workbook now. From the Home tab, in the Close section, click on Close and Load. To load the data, click on Close and Load. As a result, you can see that the append one worksheet is created automatically. This is the basic view of our data. You can further modify this worksheet. Let's delete the unused columns. Click on column D, press and hold the shift key and click on column H. Right click on the column and choose the delete option. Hence, the columns are deleted. Next, you can set the column headers. Type product ID, press tab to autocomplete. In cell B1, type product, press tab. 
in cell C1 type unit sold. Press tab to auto complete the header. You can delete the row 2 as it is unnecessary now. Right click on row 2 and choose the delete option. In this way, you can merge multiple worksheets in a single worksheet. If you look closely, you will find the column headers in row 12. This indicates the start of the February data. If you scroll down, you will see that all the worksheets are appended in this single worksheet. And you can modify this worksheet according to your choice. For example, if you want to remove the filter option, select the cells A1 to C1. Move to the data tab. From the sort and filter option, you can see that the filter is applied. Now click on this filter icon or press Ctrl, Shift and L to undo the filtering. And you can see that the filter is removed from this data set. You can use the consolidate feature of Excel to get the product wise total sales from January to June. For this example, I will use the workbook January to June sales data and I have inserted a new worksheet named total sales to get the total sales values in this worksheet. To apply the consolidate feature, move to the data tab. From the data tools section, click on consolidate. This opens the consolidate window. I will calculate the sum. So the sum function is OK. As the reference, select the January worksheet. Next, select the entire dataset. You can see that our selection is highlighted. Now to add the reference, click on add. And you can see that in the all reference field, January is added. In this way, add all the worksheets. Go to February. And you can see that the same data range is selected automatically. Click on add option to add the reference. Next, go to March. Click on add. Let me quickly add all the reference. You can see that all the references are added to this field. Now as there are column headers, so in the use labels in section, check top row and left column. Finally, click on OK to get the total sales. And you can see that the sum is calculated. In cell B4, type product ID. And this is a basic view of the worksheet. By default, the product names are not added. You can add the names if you wish. In this way, you can merge multiple Excel files into one using the data consolidate feature. So far, I have showed you different process of merging multiple Excel files. You can apply these techniques according to your requirements. However, if you need to merge multiple Excel files on a regular basis, then you can use the VVA macro to merge multiple Excel files into one sheet. This will automate your task. In this part of this video, I'll show you the details process. Let's talk about the dataset first. I have the name and marks of three group of students in three Excel files. Then I have merged the data from that three Excel files into this worksheet. To do so, I have used the VVA macro. Before going to the macro section, let's get a quick view of the Excel files that we will merge together. This is the first file and the name of the workbook is file 1. Here you will find the name and the marks of the students. Now let's go to the second workbook. This is the second workbook. The name of the workbook is file 2. Here you will find the marks of the second group of students. Finally, let's check the third workbook. This is the third workbook. The name of this workbook is file 3. I will combine all the data from these three workbooks into a single workbook. Currently, I am on this workbook. Now I will write a VVA code that will merge the files file 1, file 2 and file 3 into a new worksheet of a new workbook. To write the VVA code, first I need to enable the developer tab. Right click on any tab, go to customize the ribbon. This opens the Excel options window. From the customize the ribbon section, in the main tabs, check developer. Now click on OK to add the developer tab. You can see that the developer tab is added. Now from the code section, click on visual basic or press alt plus F11 to open the code editor. The Visual Basic Editor is open. Now, I want to write such a code that will work on all the worksheets. For that reason, I need to write the code in a module. So to insert the module, go to the Insert tab and choose Module. You can see that Module 1 is created. I have copied the code from the article. You will find the link of the article in the description box. Now let me paste the code in the code editor. Press Ctrl plus V. This is the code that will merge multiple Excel files into a new worksheet of a new workbook. Let me briefly explain this code section by section. 
The name of the macro is merge multiple workbooks into one sheet of a new workbook. This macro will create a new workbook and merge the data of all the open workbooks into a single sheet of that new workbook. Here I have declared variables to create the new workbook as well as to loop through all the open workbooks and copy the data from all the open workbooks and paste the data in a single sheet of the new workbook. In the next section I have passed the name of the active workbook in a variable. Then I have turned off screen updating to speed up the things. After that the code will use workbooks.add method to create a workbook and set that newly created workbook as the destination workbook. Let me explain the rest of the code. A for loop is used to loop through all the workbooks. If the name of the workbook doesn't match with the name of the destination workbook and the active workbook then another for loop will get the number of rows and columns in the first worksheet of the workbook. Later it will set the range of all the non-empty cells as the range to copy. In the next part of this code, the last row of the destination workbook will be set as the active cell and the code will check if there are enough rows to paste the copied values. If the space is not sufficient then it will show an error message. Let me scroll down to explain the rest of the code. If there is enough space to paste the value, then the code will paste the copied values, leaving one row blank in the destination workbook. In this way, the first worksheet of the source workbook is copied to the destination workbook. The code will continue to loop through the next worksheet of the first workbook. When all the worksheets of the first workbook are copied in the destination workbook, then the code will start copying the next open workbook. For that reason, you must keep the Excel files open that you need to copy. In the last part of this code, all the objects are cleaned up to release the memory. And in case any error happens, the label EH will be activated. Now to run the code, click on this play icon or you can press F5 to run the code. Note that I have kept the files file1, file2 and file3 open before running the code. As a result, you can see that all the data from the file1, file2 and file3 are copied in a new workbook named book 4 and the data are copied in the sheet 1. In this way you can use the VVA macro to copy all the data of the open files into a single worksheet of a new workbook. In case you want to merge the data of all the open workbooks in your current workbook then you can use the VVA macro to do that. In this example, I will combine the data of file 1, 2 and 3 in a new sheet of this workbook. So to write the VVA code, go to the developer tab. In the code section, click on visual basic. Let's insert a new module to write the code. You can see that module 2 is created. I have copied the code from the article. Now let me paste the code here. Press Ctrl plus V. This is the code that will merge multiple sheets to active workbook. The structure of this code is quite similar to the previous VVA code. Let's explain this code section by section. Here are the variables I have declared to loop through all the worksheets of the open workbooks and then copy the data and paste them in a new sheet of the active workbook. As the code is very similar to the previous code, let me explain only the unique things. This code will create a new worksheet named consolidation in the active workbook. For that reason, if there exists a consolidation worksheet in the active workbook, then the code will first delete that worksheet and create a new consolidation consolidation worksheet at the end of the destination workbook that is the active workbook. Then the consolidation worksheet will be set as the destination. In that worksheet the data of all the worksheets from the open workbooks will be compiled. Now let me scroll down to explain the rest of the code. As I have explained in the previous macro, the code will loop through all the worksheets of the open workbooks. Then it will copy the data and paste that data in the consolidation worksheet of the active workbook. Finally, it will clean up the objects to release the memory. And in case any error occurs, the label EH will be activated that will show an error message. Now let's run the code by clicking on this play icon. If you go back to the active workbook, you can see that a new worksheet named consolidation is created and the data from all the open workbooks are compiled here. If you scroll down, you will see the data in file 3. In this way, you can use VVA macro to combine multiple files into one worksheet of an active workbook. In the final example, I will show you how to merge multiple files into a new workbook as individual worksheets. To write the VVA code, go to the developer tab. From the code section, click on Visual Basic. Let's insert a new module to write the code. 
you can see that module 3 is created. Now in the code editor, press Ctrl plus V to paste the code that I have just copied from the article. This is the code that will merge multiple files into individual sheets of a new workbook. Now let me briefly explain this code. In this section, I have declared the variables to create a new workbook and new worksheets. After that, transferring the data from all the worksheets of the open workbooks into separate sheets of the new workbook. In this code, I have used workbooks.add method to create a new workbook and set that workbook as the destination workbook. Then a for loop is used to loop through all the open workbooks and if the name of the open workbook doesn't match with the destination workbook and the currently active workbook then the data of all the worksheets of that source workbook will be copied. Later the data will be pasted after the first worksheet of the destination workbook. In this way all the worksheets and all the workbooks will be copied to the destination workbook and after transferring all the data to the destination workbook the first worksheet of this destination workbook will be deleted as it contains no data. Let me scroll down to explain the later part of this code. After that, all the objects are cleaned up to release the memory. And in case any error happens, the EH label will be activated. And this label will show an error message. Now if you click on this play icon to run the code, you can see that a new workbook named book 5 is just created and there are three worksheets in this workbook file 1, file 2 and file 3. File 3 worksheet contains the data from the workbook file 3. Go to file 2. Here you will find the data of workbook file 2 and if you move to the file 1, here you will find the data of file 1 workbook. In this way you can use VVA macro to merge multiple open files into a new workbook as individual worksheets. I have demonstrated the step by step guide for merging multiple excel files into one worksheet. Hopefully you can apply this knowledge according to your requirements and convenience. You can download the practice workbook from the video description to sharpen your excel skills. Feel free to leave any questions, suggestions or feedback in the comment section below. You can go to exceldemy.com to read our excel blogs or you can share your excel related issues in our XLDB forum and receive free solutions. For more content like this, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching our video. Bye!